Welcome to What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. And I am Onika McLean, and we have Kizzy back in the his house, yes. everybody. Yay, <laughs> Kizzy back. She's it's, been South Africa, Zimbabwe. Yeah, Where was, were you not, it girl? It was a lot. It was a lot. I had so much fun in Africa. It was, it was amazing. Like, what? going to Egypt, you feel so connected to, like, History and everything. It sounds mad corny. I know, but no, it doesn't. It just it, it was really. You felt like home. It felt. I felt connected. I wouldn't say home. Connected to but what? I was, I was connected to you like history. Like, really? To history. It was like like it came alive for you. Yes, with the pyramids and the Sphinx, and they're so big, and you're like, wow, this has been here for thousands of years, and now I'm here, and it's crazy. It was. It was great. It was, was it hot fantastic. guys? Because somebody was taking pictures mm. of you, and I didn't. Well, I mean, social media. In, in, in which country? Which country? Zimbabwe. Yes. Yes, hi yes. guys. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. bongo. No. Yes. Oh, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. Well, I love your hair, so Thank welcome you. back. We Thank missed you, you tremendously. I'm so glad to be back. I missed you too, girl. Okay, so let's get into this. What's up, guys? Okay. Yes, so quick takes. Now, rapper Remy Ma was on a reel, and she says the feud that she had with Nicki Minaj is over. But before announcing the feud is over she had to take one more little swipe so she said quote the dust has settled some people don't get that the dust has settled but i can understand it's kind of hard to see the dust settling when you're in the grave under the dirt so yeah you that was the case like, that was so, remy ma <laughs> like i don't know i still don't i still don't get that whole sheet that was dope and then whatever Nikki did was dope. Uh, and then mm, no, no, nah, nah, Nikki, nah, it wasn't dope. Nah, really no, wasn't, didn't nah. she do two? Well, whatever. It was, it was it was Remy who did two. Remy came back and hit her again. And oh, then, and that other one was weak. That's yeah, what happened. That's, well, go ahead, Remy, because I don't want you to come from my edges. Because at all, because I don't have my hair down, so my edges <laughs> is a little scarce. Any dog going way, but it seems like everyone's hitting uh, Nicki Minaj to the left, and that's my little namesake. So I don't like for people to bother Nicki Minaj. Oh, you know, Onika. <laughs> so this is what happened. So um, Rihanna smacked down Nicki Minaj because. Mm. Nikki posted a fake uh, uh, Matt Gala uh, best dress list. Oh. But she didn't know it was fake or whatever. Okay. And Rihanna was like, wait, wait, Because she was not on that list. And then Nikki pulled it down after. Damn. So, like, I... Nikki's just, I guess her confidence is getting a little shaky. I don't know. Nah, Nick, mm -mm, Nikki's going to come out on top. She don't care. Uh, I mean, even Trinidad. Look, listen, what, Trinidad, what? look. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it do. It do matter. <laughs> They, they, African they, Americans be like treacherous, you know. They tried to come for our edges. <laughs> However, she came out on top because with a very, very nice um, act of kindness and generosity. And so, did. yeah. So Nikki um, is basically rising above it all. So somebody, one of her Instagram uh, fans, reached out to her for some help, and what she wanted help with was her college bills, right? So Nikki said, "You know what? I'll help you out if I see all A's." The fan produced the all A's and she received the financial help. And then Nikki was like, okay, I still want to do some more. So somebody else, you need help? Let me know. And so she did that for several people, helping oh, wow. them out with their college tuition. Ooh, yes. I would have docked up them grades. <laughs> I need help, Nick. I'm trying to go back to school to get a graduate degree. Help me out. Oh, right. Oh, my God. So she said that was fun. Um, that, that was good for today. You know, Stay tuned. I will do some more. And now she plans to create an educational fund to help students in need. Well, she's so winning. She's, she's I'm winning. telling you, I told you she'd come out on top. Well, I'm glad that she's feeling so generous <laughs> because maybe she can help this other little guy out. So Carson Huey U, right? Mm -hmm. Check this out. He's 14 years old. He is the youngest graduate of the University of Tech, uh, Texas uh, Christian University. That's wow. what it's Young, wow. 14 years old. That's yeah, amazing. now get this. He majors in he majored in physics. Mm -hmm. And then he had a double minor in math and Chinese. His last name is Yu. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 So that's that's like me majoring in abonics, right? You yeah. need to stop you the madness. You need to stop the madness. Well, like, well, okay, you're not, uh, whatever. But anyway, Wah, congratulations Wah. to him. <laughs> in other good news, actress Journey Smollett-Bell 
and pop star Janet Jackson, mm -hmm. they bur they celebrated their first Mother's Day. That's really nice. Congratulations, yes. Janet. But Janet is getting divorced, so I don't know if she was so happy about that. Listen, but. she gonna be all right, and she just turned she 51. gonna be all right. She is, I know, right, <laughs> Kendrick? Hello. But um, yeah. So she just turned 51 too. She just celebrated her birthday. So good for her. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, happy Mother's Day, ladies. Good yes. for you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, and not so great news. The lawsuits keep on coming for that fire festival. Fiasco of a festival. A oh. recent case filed <laughs> in the Manhattan Supreme Court alleges that the festival's co-founders, you know, Ja Rule and Billy McFarland, have defaulted on their $3 million loan to New York based EHO funding LLC. Wow. And but how could the they fund. default on the funds? That it, they didn't give the people anything. So that's did someone what, rob them? That doesn't make sense. That's what they're trying to find out. So the, the idea is... Did you is see maybe those they, photos? They look crazy. Pretty bad. Like they were in a tent and eating It couldn't be me. Sandwiches. I would have Vaseline on. I would have grabbed... I would have, that's ridiculous. Yeah, they were supposed to get money back from the people coming and spending their money, but of course people spent no money because there was no festival. So But they had to pay to get there, right? Yeah. So where's the three million dollars? Who knows? Okay. About to find out.